Hey all, this is no more new sums, and we are going to discuss a quick overview of the changes in ISO 27001-2022 standard. ISO IEC 27001-2022 has been titled as Information Security, Cyber Security and Privacy Protection, Information Security Management System Requirements. What was previously known as Annex A in the ISO 27001-2013 standard is now referenced as Information Security Control Reference in ISO, in ISO 27001-2022 standard. The controls in the newer version are grouped into four domains. So uh, earlier there were 14 domains, now it is only four. Uh, we have organizational where there are about 37 controls. There are a grouping called people where there are about eight controls. About 14 physical controls and 34 technological controls make up the uh, controls. So the 114 controls in the previous version is now reduced to 93 controls. There are certain new controls as well. Uh, A5.7 is threat intelligence. A5.23 is information security for use of cloud services. A5.3 is ICT readiness for business continuity. A7.4 is for physical security monitoring. A8.9 is for configuration management. A8.10 is for information deletion. A8.11 is for data marking. A8.12 is for data leakage prevention. A8.16 for monitoring activities. A2.3 is web filtering. A8.28 is security coding. A8.28 is secure coding. The teleworking control has been renamed as remote working now. So there are instances of regrouping of certain controls into uh, other categories or uh, it has been aligned together. As far as the clauses are concerned, uh, clause 9.2 and 9.3 have uh, subclauses and the uh, requirements have been detailed in a clear way. So 9.2 internal audit as 9.2.1 general and 9.2.2 internal audit program. Whereas 9.3 the management review is split into three subclauses. 9.3.1 is general, 9.3.2 is management review input, and 9.3.3 is management review results. I think the 9.3.3 results is a new terminology because in most other standard it is referred to as management review output. Also, there is a subtle swap in two of the subclauses, it has been interchanged. Clause 10.1, which was uh, non conformity and corrective action, is now 10.2. And uh, what was earlier version, 2013 version, which was continual improvement, which was 10.2, is now 10.1. Slight swap, otherwise, uh, the content remains by and large the same. So there are more changes in the control references rather than the clauses themselves. There are only some additional subclauses or interchanging of class. Otherwise, there is no major changes in the clauses. But controls, new controls have been added and some of the uh, old controls have also been merged together. The integration of uh, controls have now made the 114 controls in the previous version, 2013 version of 
27,001 to 93 controls in ISO 27,001-2022 version. Hope you had a clear understanding of the overview of changes to ISO 27001-2022 standard. So by and large, there have been a few add-ons in the cyber security concepts, operational capabilities and security domains. So ready to go for ISO 27001-2022?